Trump administration doubles cost of U.S. government shutdown as 800,000, still without pay. U.S. President Donald Trump's administration has doubled the estimated cost to the U.S. economy caused by a partial government shutdown over the Mexico border wall funding row. The U.S. government has been partially shut down for the longest period in American history. The measure came into force shortly before Christmas, because Trump could not secure funding for his controversial border wall project, which was a key campaign pledge. The economic damage from the shutdown is now estimated to be higher than originally anticipated, according to the White House. The original estimate the partial shutdown would subtract 0.1 of a percentage point from growth every two weeks has now been doubled to a 0.1 percentage point subtraction every week, according to a Trump administration official. The new forecast means the cost of the shutdown is likely to be twice as much as anticipated. Mark Zondi, chief economist at Moody's Analytics, forecasted a half a percentage point hit to U.S. GDP if the shutdown lasts throughout March, roughly a third of the administration's new estimate. Mr. Zondi said, we estimate the shutdown will reduce first quarter real GDP growth by approximately 0.5 percentage points. Of this, about half will be due to the lost hours of government workers, and the other half to the hit to the rest of the economy. As a result of the crisis shutdown, hundreds of thousands of government workers have gone without pay, with scores of federal institutions such as national parks closed off to the public. On day 25 of the longest ever U.S. government shutdown, 800,000 federal employees have gone without pay with many missing their first paycheck last week. With no immediate end to the political standoff in sight, the Trump administration now believes the impact doubles, due to greater losses from private contractors also out of work and other government spending and functions that won't occur. The change is due to greater losses from private contractors also out